The topic today, like I did say, is I am going to explain my career journey on how I was able to leave the classroom as a secondary school computer science teacher to work into solutions architect at GitLab currently. So this is going to be the format of the three things that I'll be covering. So I'll talk about me, my career, challenges that I have faced, and where teaching actually meets solutions architect. They might seem two different things, but quite similar based on what I'll be covering later. So, to begin with, about me. Mom is a mom of three, very busy. I've got 11, seven, and three-year-old at home. So, I am always busy, but that doesn't mean that I cannot also do my role, as in whether it's education, or to inspire other people doing public speaking, or to also work as a solutions architect, helping organizations adopt the best technology for their business requirements. How was I able to do this? Again, I went through different career stages, which I am going to show in a minute, and you will see where I started off once I left secondary school to where I am today. So my first job has been a cashier in a bank. So this is what I did initially, but this is where I discovered technology. From the first day I saw the server room, saw the machine in there, see how cool the room was. I couldn't stop going back to that, and that was the end of my banking career. <laughs> and what did I do? Obviously, I started researching, asked all those people in that room that I found, how did they become those experts in there controlling those things? And they shared ways that I can do it, and that's how I decided to go back to uni, study business information technology at the University of Greenwich, and then graduated, but at the wrong time. It was the end of the recession, quite hard to get a job, and I can say my name could have been easily rejection. I faced several rejection to get my first role, but I didn't say it's the end, I never give up. So what did I do? I asked myself, now I've got this degree, I've got this knowledge, what can I use it to do? And I thought, why not go and pass this knowledge on to the young ones? So I decided to go back to uni, retrain, and became a computer science teacher and shared the knowledge that I just learned from university. So I did that for several years until I thought, time is up now. <laughs> I need a change, and I think I can now have my space in the tech world. And I decided to do the transition into solutions architect. But I faced several challenges doing this transition. It wasn't an easy one, especially doing it while heavily pregnant. So all the mothers in here, I know some of these challenges, especially time and energy, is one that you can relate to doing a career change within that time. But I was able to utilize tools to help me block some time to study and master some of these technologies that I needed. The learning curve, again, this was very steep. Yes, I was a computer science teacher, but wanting to come into the DevOps world, into software engineering, I had a lot that I needed to top up my knowledge on. So I have to craft several ways that I can learn to get this knowledge. Imposter syndrome, obviously. I'm still dealing with it. It's not like it's the end of the world, but again, I had a lot of that trying to think, was I good enough? Can I do this? But again, finding a coach throughout this transition helped me overcome that, and then now that I am doing this, I now want to explain the intersection between teaching and solutions architect. One of the points that I have there, my friend here have already like, talked about, which is continuous learning. So I will skip that one in the interest of time and go straight into problem solving. As a teacher, you are always solving problems, and as a solutions architect, I will say, it's really the same for me. So this is where your previous skills can now come into tech. Communication as well. Again, you go through really challenging communication issues in the classroom, and you will face the same as a solutions architect as well, trying to really work with different teams. Analytical thinking. Things are going to change. The technology is going to change. In the classroom, again, situations are going to change. The lesson needs to be changed to adapt to children's needs. So again, that is a crossover. Adaptability falls into that same place, and collaboration, being able to work with different teams and different people. At school, I used to work with teachers, parents, um, even the police sometimes, and now, as a solutions architect now, I also work with varieties of teams, software engineers, stakeholders, and then help them. Thank you very much, and one last thing that I just wanted to say, if you're thinking of doing a career change, please take the plunge. It might be scary, 
but you can do it. I was able to do it, and this is where I bring my openness, like what my friend here said, to share my journey so that I can inspire you to know that you too can do it. Thank you very much. Please take Woo! that question. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much.